chewing, you swallow it, and then it gets stuck, like right here. And you gotta take a drink of water, and it like hurts really yeah. bad, but that afterwards burger, you yesterday. feel like, ugh, it's right, finally I, out. I, I, I'm st I don't know, I just eat the burger. I don't really give a shit about how it tastes, and apparently it was too dry. I'm sorry. We made burgers yesterday from, uh, what kind of meat was it? It's just beef. Beef. Mince yeah. meat. Okay. Mince meat. Okay. Horse. Game on, boys. Let's do this. Game on. All right, so quick question. Who has the better level one? Mm, I would say dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. Lumi? With chilling touch? Yeah, no question asked. Like well, <laughs> CM as well on, on Murano. Oh, I was throwing it as a question just so somebody would uh -oh. answer. PPD, no. No. PPD, so please. Far. It's oh, not worth touch. it. Chilling oh, touch. dead. <laughs> so dead. Oh, Nightmare himself? First blood. All right. Smoke like at the first blood. My hooves run red. The axe just like slapped at him. Sad boys. Exactly. Real sad. <laughs> was that EG's old name? Was it? <clears throat> yeah, it was. For a little while. So, that definitely helps. I mean, Smogalik like, pretty much getting free boots. It's not too bad, right? Yeah. yeah, and that, by the way, is the reason you should never go scouting by yourself begins. in uh, yeah. games. The buddy system. I mean, like. Well, even the buddy system, they both would have died probably. Regeneration. Yeah. They didn't, they got to be used the frostbite though. It's just not much else. To cut you. Well, the thing is, if you frostbite the one hero, he dies for sure, right? Like, yeah. you don't even need the secondary stun. So you can just have, like, Ember use um, flaming. I mean, Moran even. What is it called? Bolas Fire chains. Fire ch I call them bolas because that's what a bola is. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's a rock that's in, like, a sling and you Searing throw it at chains. People. Yeah. Looks like Fog's gonna be blocking some ancients here on the high ground as well. Just to make sure Artizi no. can't get them. I hate that when you're playing Tinker and Mid and he blinds it just as you're about to get a last hit. It's like, oh. That's how you're supposed to do it yeah, now. Yeah. Interestingly enough, it's still like no CS for either player <laughs> in mid. I mean, Arteezy's got it denied, but. Alright, he's, he's getting CS now. It's just funny. Getting level 2. Yeah, I don't imagine MSS is going to do much. I mean, sure, there is a bottle curl, but it seems like the way that Arteezy's been playing it, just dragging aggro, blinding when the CS is coming. MSS needs level 3 if he has two points into his uh, flame. Oh, Smogling is manning up here, bottom. Is he going to get Nightmare, though? Nah, nope, doesn't look like it. I don't think Ur uh, Ursa was close enough, so. What do you think Fear is going to get? Just straight up phase boots? Usually the build is like phase Vlad's blink, or just go like really early BKB. Sometimes you forego Vlad's if you don't have any intention of doing like a pre-20 minute Roshan, mm -hmm. and just go blink BKB to allow yourself to go in fights. I think he might do something like that this game, just because it allows you to play oh. way more aggressive, oh, which I think you want. Yeah, Smoggle like, is like super sad right now. Centaur stop, that's gonna hit on two. He's gonna try to run himself out of there, but there is a slow couple more right clicks. Oh, he's trying to block, not gonna the get boots. there. I mean, you say he's sad, he's, he's, he's all right. That first blood actually saved his life, yeah. right? because he wouldn't have had boots otherwise. Denied. Well, not good times. Arteezy's scared He's away. zoning him out. Rocket oh, sets oh, first blood? No. Nope. Well, would have been first, second, second blood. Second. Yeah. Lane is won. Arteezy fanboys rejoice. <laughs> Get me some points against Bai. <laughs> I man, Bruno lost to Bai. Yeah. So. I think they fixed that. Bruno and Bai had a chat, and they were like, ah, come on. I'm not taking it for granted. But I'm getting my fucking shit pushed in by Bruno. It's all right, man. That was a very graphic image. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that, like, I thought that was just an American phrase. I, I, know, I, I like... never heard anybody say that before outside of the U.S. Really? Yeah, like, really. I don't know. It's crazy. It, like, took me by surprise. I was like... Maybe it came from Ireland. Maybe it did. Maybe you guys were the originators. You guys did kind of come first. Yeah. So, wouldn't shock me. You know what else is kind of disappointing right now? Mm. Um, PPD is only level one still, mm. and so is Zai. Not great. Yeah, uh, I think the most important thing was those early game warding by uh, Team Dog. Sentry blocking the camp, no pulling, so these two supports. Pretty sad. It's Meanwhile, pretty huge. Actually, Fear is just going to work. Smuggling is oh, going to just die, I think. No. Nope, just level one. No soul assumption. One more right click. Stout shield. RNG Jesus. Oh my Smuggling. god. player. What a man. What a player. So really that go. is the sadness of not even leeching level Dyer's 2 out of this bottom tower really is no, under They, they want to get a gank. CM is smoked up. Arteezy busy, oh, busy he's, barbering. He's not going flame guard. You don't need a flame guard, man. He just died. He needs flame guard. Uh, uh, <laughs> when you're going to get a kill. 
Yep, yeah, but this is gonna hit, but oh, here comes a marge. marge machine. There's a blind on top. CM is taking so much damage. Arteezy gonna survive. Yo. If he had flame guard, would have been a kill. Well, no, it would have been a kill because if he was 1 1, yeah, he would have just ran in significantly more yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I actually don't agree with this build in this situation. Especially when you know that you just died due to taking magic damage because yeah. you don't have a single point in the flame guard. Well, we'll see. We'll see how he plays it, I guess. And against Tinker, like, the rocket actually won't do enough damage to get rid of the whole flame guard. <gasps> he needs, like, march damage as well. Well, the um, the level one flame guard only absorbs 50, but if you get level two, it's 200. So yeah. Man, the scaling in that thing is insane. It's ridiculous. Like 500 is it? This that's is uh, ours. 500, and it's 60 damage a second. It's so. fucking insane. Like. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it gets a good skill. Yeah. You know, you should get it. Uh oh, smuggling just. Oh, oh misery's yeah. here. PPD's in trouble. He's got nightmare. Gets in mid animation. Has to wake up smuggling nice. to get the stomp off. No, no he already used the stomp. He he used um, he double two illusions. Oh, I mean, boy. you don't want to double dash right next to the Ursa, so. That's pretty much it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Universe taking some damage here, top. This lane isn't particularly scary oh, for him oh, unless oh. he gets arrowed. Nice carapace though. Stops the damage. Chilling touch is still gonna be there. Ooh. Double stun, but ends up dropping anyway. Stop. Fucking jazz hands damage one. Power. Spirit fingers, touch. man. It's the Spirit jazz hands. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh man. It's a lot of um a lot of movement so far early game from both teams. Yeah. Looks like we're going to see a little pulling action here from Zai. That's going to give them the ability to dive because Creep Wave is. Well. There's a surprise wave. Smuggling? Him. Smuggling? Surprise? Oh. oh no! The Creep Wave block. I don't know what he was expecting there. I mean, he just saw that he was pulling. What did he think was behind mm -hmm. those neutrals? Certainly mm -hmm. not Pi. I don't know, man. Fog's level 4 compared to 2 on the. on the EG, look. Oh, fuck my die to universe here. He's this trying to juke up on the tree. Yeah. I mean, just eat the right tree, like universe! You have a tango! <laughs> he nah, didn't man. kill him anyway. He's gonna have some suspense. You You're gonna have some suspense in life. Well, got the kill. Yeah, universe gets a Worth solo it. kill in off lane. Okay. Pretty huge. <laughs> I mean, I feel like he's just a complete off lane dog right now. Yeah, they really are. I mean, even aside from the first blood, the mid matchup. Dyer's middle tower 19 and 7 on MSS. Okay, okay no, 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 no. Wait, MSS has a double damage. Like, stuff could happen now. Still and no points. He's gonna Tinker. just go pull and stack his camps. Well, the ancients are actually spawning now. So, yeah, top lane, fight cat. He's gonna get caught by universe as well. Level six, but oh. that it was used. Not quite enough damage. They want to try to turn it around. Pycat just trying to man mode it right here. Oh, oh long arrow. Oh, oh, hits the creep away. Sav gets canceled, and Fog is just oh, right clicking for all his worth right now. Oh, uh, <laughs> one more. One more style shift rock. And here comes oh, the CM. Oh, one more Good man, get me the points, misery. You know what? This is the Bottom. first time I've seen Kofi not being taken. I they are diving I into tier two. It's no big tier, deal. Ursa is insanely fast, by the way. For those of us who aren't familiar. He has ridiculous base move speed. Does well, MSS want to tango with this one? He does have a double damage. Very low. Can you get this kill? He checked his mom. He's like, yes, please. Bam! Bam. The jukes. Death Got him. Swarms yeah. over me. And he you needed that kill. What do you think of the uh, fear skill build? He didn't learn that. Like, he maxed out the... That's normal Ursa for laning. Is it? Yeah. Because you want the Earth shock just because... I mean, it's, it's more damaging early on. Not only that, but for farming as well. Since you're not going to be jungling as much. Just pushing out the waves. Radiant's it's a really nice top tower okay. is under yeah, attack. Good too. First time for me seeing uh, Ancient Apparition not scaling Kofi at all. Like, he, earlier he was using the slow percent of Ice Vortex. Just setting up that kill. Oh, middle. Shadow. Up on the MSS, he's he is just, wow. <laughs> He's quite squishy, that uh, Ember Spirit lot. Yeah, that's the one thing about getting Nightmare, is if you get initiated on like that, there is a very good overlap of stun, which means that you can't really do anything, even if you have. You might try to initiate on bot yeah. lane, the Pycat double Star Storm coming in. No, there's not a second one, no air to follow through whatsoever, so Fear survives that one. Ursa is just so tanky, as well as level 7 without any items, and he has 900 HP. Yeah, and he's yeah. a agility hero as well. Most people think he's strength, I guess. Well, it's just because his ult scales off HP, so people will think that he's strength yeah. because And he also has higher see. strength than agility. Yeah. He's a really strong bear. Yeah. Agile and strong. Why is he just not a strength hero? Like, it just makes no sense. <laughs> because it would be broken if he was a strength yeah. hero. Like, uh, top lane. Easy. Yeah, the universe just explodes. They brought the can of raid, sprayed the bug with it. <laughs> Wasn't great. This really reminds me of Pinot Dota. Like, just early game kills all over the place. 
yeah. What are you getting towers? What are towers? Artizi already has bots though, so... Yeah, he's doing well. He's almost got a soul ring too. He has a few stacks in the jungle as well. Alright. I don't know, man. This looks... Honestly, like even though dog are leading in kills right now, I'm really concerned for them because they're not really farming at nearly the same rate as uh, EG's cores. So it's going to get to a point where Arteezy and Fear are just going to have so much, and I'm not entirely sure that a Marana is going to be able to deal with that. Yeah, normally I would say, hey, if the Centaur has a Blink Dagger right now, that would be okay because he's going to be the initiator setting up fights. But if you look at Smuggling, he's got 400 gold. Away from not even close to anything. Yeah, I have my worries right now for uh, for Team Dog, but I guess um, MSS, he's got the initiation build going for him, so maybe they don't need the Centaur to necessarily have a blink. Slight of Fist range is pretty ridiculous when you get to max. <laughs> oh, no, man. He's going to dodge it. Jesus. Okay. Nice dodge action on the mid lane. Yeah, they got a Sentry too, so they know what universe is there. How's Plague got doing? I mean, he's not doing terrible, but he's still only 32 CS at 10 minutes. I mean, consider Universe's role. He was off lane Nyx. He has Arcanes and he's level 7. Got yeah, a solo kill, you know? Yeah. I don't really get that. How... Well, the heroes can't zone him. Because of the fact that there's no cold feet on the AA, there's no double stun, and there's actually not even a chance for a stun unless Universe eats an arrow, in which case it's incredibly easy to just use Spike Carapace and just say, yeah, you're not, I'm not going to take any damage. Mm -hmm. So, because there's no follow-up, they can't follow up a stun after the Carapace, which means that he just walks away. Ooh. MSS going for so much damage. Dyer's middle tower That's so messed up. Like, yeah. both heroes trying to check for rune. I thought he was going to ult towards it, but no. It does like 300 damage, I think. The well, chains. it does your auto attack plus 120. And then, yeah, fire chains. Three seconds of 80 damage, so 240. Insane. No flame guard, though. I hate on the lack of flame guard. I just really feel like they would have killed Arteezy if he had it. Yeah. That's the thing. That's true. He would have survived one time against yeah. that rocket. He would have no deaths and he would have probably the same amount of kills. Well, no, he would have one more kill. Actually, no, he, he still would have died uh, the time where he got nightmared. Flame Guard wouldn't have saved him there. Unless he had it on before. Moonlight Shadow Initiation coming again on bot lane. Let's see if it's going to work. This is when I'm playing in the pubs and I start to panic. It's like, oh shit, the fucking Tinker is getting out of hand. What do we do? Look. So what do you do against Tinker? Well, the thing is, they don't have an initiator outside of either getting arrowed or, I guess, using Stampede. They I mean, can use Slight of Fist, but it's still really risky, you know? In theory, like, if you see St. Tinker blinking the trees, you could remnant in and just go to him. But that's... there's so oh, much God. downside. Bot. They want to go for Pie Cat. Yeah, Grip animation gets cancelled. Universe immediately pops his vendetta. They're going to find Fog in the woods, drops a sentry. He knows he's there. Arrow going to fly. No Not stuns. Much. No yeah. stuns. It's tough, man. It really is. Max cold feet, no. One of cold feet. Jazz hands. They threw an AL towards Dyer's bottom. So. Yeah, they want to go. Snappy's yeah, coming in. Ice blast. Oh, that's gonna hit. But are they gonna lose any hero? That's a question. Smuggling oh. dropping low. So assumption counters. It's gonna be there. ZM dropping her ultimate, but <laughs> do too did, much. It didn't hit you. She carpets and it didn't proc. The ult for CM didn't hit attack. Universe a single time when he had Spike Carapace on. Oh, Arteezy gonna go down to MSS in the river. Okay. Okay, all of a sudden four people are dead from EG. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Okay, I feel like if nothing happens, and when I say nothing happens in terms of towers are not going down. No objective game in like Yes. EG are, e still okay. EG are so far ahead because their hero, a tanker. I don't know if I would say so far ahead. I mean, tanker would hex stay on blink late game. What okay. is okay? Well, he's just gonna have those items. I'm talking about in the now. I'm saying like. Live at the this present. immediate point in the game. Right, and behind. I'm saying, be well, yes, but with no towers going down, there's so much more room for this Tinker to, to go into the late game. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So unless, like, Team Dog goes into Roshan Pit and makes something happen, or take down Mid-Tower. That Mid-Tower is, by the way, 4 HP. Here comes the smoke gang out of EG, and they're going bot. Uh, it's interesting, actually, that they're deciding to go bottom. I guess if PPD gets a range to grip, then it doesn't really matter that they're trying to gank him around. They but send the Centaur top to try and get that Blink Dagger going. Yeah, it's really necessary, and he's not that far. I mean, 900, I'll probably have it at like 18 minutes, give or take. Here comes an Ice Blast. Oh, oh that's... Oh, run, CM. Oh, oh, dude. Well, that's yeah. Spike Grip. Arrow, gonna fly. Hits on some of the familiars. No stun, no damage dealt. And I think they just transitioned this into a push. There's a lot of people from EG down here. 
Yeah, and they're not going to lose too much because Tinker could just bot up top, drop a wave or two. They still have uh, Glyph Radiant's available, so they should be able to hold smuggling back. Fear, going to eat the, uh, the fire chains. Ridiculous number of damage. Radiant's top tower Hello. is under attack. Actually, I mean, do you think that uh, Ember Spear is actually a very good, I don't want to say a counter, but a hero matchup against Ursa? Because it feels like there's much more mobility on the Ember Spear. You can easily, like, yeah. chain you. If he forces you to BKB, then you just run with your ultimate. Yeah, but you have the Nyx and the Visage and the Tinker who can easily handle the Ember Spirit. The Ursa is mainly for the Centaur and like CM and AA who don't really have any innate escapes, so you just destroy them instantly. Okay. But yeah, I do agree with the fact that Ember is just very good against Ursa due to the fact that you don't really... As Ember, you're, you're not supposed to stand in and fight really mm -hmm. because you don't have the health for it. He's a dancer. Yeah, you, you just go around the outside of the fight spamming slate and um, use your remnants Dyer's for damage if you can, otherwise you're going to get the attack. heck out. Okay, Midas alert. Crystal Maiden has a Midas recipe because this game is going to go for a while. And I actually completely agree with this decision because the game really is going to go on for a while. Misery invaded by US Crystal Maiden. Did he sell Invented? it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Mirana ulti on bottom. They want to try to go on this, I guess? Mm. So uh, we want to point out that every time they use a Mirana ultimate, the everybody just go into the fog and then they do it. Just very well coordinated. No, no they're going to go on fear. Dice Blast is going to miss. Double Star Storm not hitting. He's dropping really low. The Remnant last damage is going to get the kill. PPD trying to get a grip off. The birds, nowhere in position to stun anything. Good damage. pickoffs. Yep. They've killed Fear three times, so it kind of makes up for the fact that he's out farming pretty well. MP on the top lane here. Tinker just <laughs> blinks out of that one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, if this MP is pretty really nice. Yeah, he might die here. Under attack. Okay, no. Nah, only level two laser. The proc on the auto attack does that yeah, cancel your blink? It looked like it did there. Do you know when you attack Centaur and it gives you the, yeah, it the return? Physical yeah, damage, damage yeah, yeah. will stop blink. Yeah. yeah. And the funny thing is, Return actually does damage Radiant's at the start of the animation, more than the yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. So you don't have to physically hit the hero to get returned. Did you ever see the video, I think it was on Reddit, where the queen of, queen of Pain was on top of a ledge? Was it Queen or was it Fury? I thought it was Fury. Middle it's tower same middle is under principle, attack. I guess. And yeah. they just like... Turn your auto attack off, boys. That's attack. all I'm gonna say. Fear gets himself a tower in the meantime, middle Radiant lane. And Blink now fortified. done on Smoggly. So RTZ has a Blink, Smoggly has a Blink. Towers being traded, tier one, safe line going down for each. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think the game's gonna go as long as you think it is. I mean, it's 16 minutes in, we got T1s. I He's know, but both teams seemingly want to fight. I mean, know? they're fighting, but they're not pushing. Pinoy Dota, That's I'm just saying, they're gonna go into the Roshan pit. Wow, Roshan. okay. Trying to sneak one at it. Well, they were just making sure that the Ursa wasn't killing. Okay. Well, yeah, goodbye, Fogged. Rip. Uh, hmm. He doesn't get to live through that. Lane to Arteezy gets gripped up. Three ultimates are going into Arteezy, and a Frostbite the should do it. The shield not doing that much damage. Arteezy is still alive. Finally going to go down to slide for the Zeus Burst. Not doing nothing. Sony level 2 with the shield. Oh, Smoke oh. big three man stomp, but the gear pace stun. Smoke Link as well. Self Nightmare, and Smoke Link just disintegrates from his own damage and the Soul Assumption. Grip on a Pycat inside of the river. CM ulti also securing the kill uh, on Arteezy. I think he actually bought back. Die back. Yeah, he just bought back and died again. Tell <laughs> the familiars, it looks like, and Universe goes down too, so Dog definitely coming out ahead in that regard. That was really strange. Yeah, great play by PPD. He nightmare himself to dodge an arrow. Ice Blast coming in right now. They see Zai. Zai's gonna get hit, but I don't no, think he's, he's close nice. to that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Gravekeeper's Cloak again works with him. Uh, PPD self sleep to dodge arrow and then grip the Marana for the kills. That three man centaur stump, though. Holy shit. It didn't actually do much aside from the stun because nobody followed up. Well, the, the, Dude, the chain. thing was yeah, the chain. Universe care paced when the stomp came, so Smuggler couldn't even double edge right away. Like, yeah. he was stunned. Man, too. that double edge would have done so much work if it did. Yeah. Double edge does do AoE damage for those of you guys that In are like a V. Frontal right? AoE. Yeah. yeah. And 400, man. 400 damage. It's fucking crazy. It Is was so funny because he blinked in. He stomped, got stunned, took damage, double edge, took more damage, got soul assumption, then instantly died. I was like, well. Yeah, it, it looked like he just fell over. Like. Yeah. Nearly a blink up on universe. Yeah, he is unbelievably farmed for an offlaner. The guys are playing quite aggressive. Like, this is like the third or fourth smoke. Uh, universe breaking a smoke oh, invisibly, no. immediately goes into a viz. Sentry War gets dropped, but out of there. 
Wow, man, Misery has so much money. He's 3 1 and 5, has Midas and 1400 gold at 18 minutes in. Like, what the heck? Stampede gonna be used. Looks like they wanna try to go for Universe Center, and the low ground spotted him out. Nice stun, and Kyrgyz. Oh, oh, Misery, good night. That bear damage. And Smoke Lee's gonna pay with his own life. Fear gonna be dropping here as well, showing off his newly ripped over with his Blink Dagger, MSS. Here from the high ground, Blink forward from Arteezy this time. Fog, 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 yeah. Victory is 10% huh. inflation, 90% decapitation. That was, um, that's happened to me before when I was running away, and I like, I think it was at the Ancients when someone was stacking Ancients as Luna, and I accidentally clicked on the creep. Yeah, but that, that was, even if you accidentally clicked, like, oh, I accidentally clicked on the creep. He stood there for like a good second yeah. and a half. Maybe he like raged. I don't know. He's like, fuck. That escalated quickly Dyer's though. Poor misery, man. Is under Got eaten alive by a freaking bear. It wasn't pretty. And that's like the first time that they've seen that Fear has a blink. Yep. So that was the, I get my free initiation, you're Dyer's instantly dead bear. Is under attack. I just find ironic that Centaur and Ursa, two of the tankiest people for the, the team, is just like jumping in and dying immediately. The focus gets fire, and the burst damage for both teams is just so insane. We saw yeah. the uh, AA slow, like completely wrecking the bear there again. Like he just couldn't catch him. Well, I mean, it's also Dyer's the ice glass and the cold feet and shouldn't touch him. Like all the damage just went on him. But, yeah, yeah, but he couldn't catch up to anyone, like, and he can't life steal when he buys Vlad as well with the, the ALT. Yeah, I really like maxing uh, the the Ice Vortex. Like, it gives you so much slow, it has an 8 second uh, cooldown, Max and you just spam it all day long if you have the mana to do so. Ice Vortex is 4 seconds. Oh shit. Last yeah. 8 seconds, right? I don't uh, know. Last 16 yeah, seconds. That's yeah, a long I don't time. even know why 8's in there. I'm sure <laughs> 4 times 2 is 8. <laughs> I was like, I bet 16 divided right? by 2 is 8, you know? It's like. It's easy, man. Easy game. So, for EG, I feel like that fight, even though Arteezy did like the dieback thing, he still got a triple kill after the fact, like the, the ensuing engagement right afterwards. So, he's still on track for his 25-minute uh, hex, or 26-minute, maybe 27, depending on if he dies again. So, I don't think they're in horrible shape by any means. They probably have a lead, at least at this particular stage. It's kind of all about the Tinker like game, though, isn't it? Like, if he can yeah. lock them down, I don't think... Or the Ursa can go Hex as well. I see a lot of Ursa players do that. After Blink and BKB, yeah, Hex is a very common choice. Abyssal is also pretty common. Top lane here. Impale just start things off. Pycat's gonna get all with a two-man Centaur stop oh. and a stamp. He get them out there, but there's a grip. And now Arteezy on the back line wrecking havoc. I class it's gonna come in. Fear gonna get clipped. Fear's gonna go down to a slide of fist. The chains are coming in. He wants to go ball deep. MSS Dota, right? He is gonna go inside. Now he wants Arteezy for shield doing some work slide of fist. And a chain coming in. And a blink re-engage for smuggling. He's gonna go down as well. But MSS wants more. He sees side. Where's the slide of fist? He has 13 magic one and a slide fish should get the kill. No! He missed! Moonlight Shadow is gonna get him out of there, but the dust is gonna see him. Fear with the buyback. Blink. Oh, Chain oh, is coming out. He's gonna get the kill, yeah. right? This time he's gonna get the kill. Slide fish still alive. It's now dead. Ooh, MSS getting himself out of there. Time. Holy shit, this is oh, why oh. Emperor Spirit OP hero? How do you miss that slide of fish? Like, where was he even clicking? He, he was going it. for the guy TP. He got in. it, and he baited out buyback, right? Let you play. Oh my god. Hmm. I saw that, I was like, okay, he's gonna kill Zai, like for sure. And then he just slights nothing. <laughs> How big is that AoE? It's huge. It's like the size <laughs> of the lane. Like, yeah. I think it's like 800 or something like that. Do you that. think it's fair if they're nerfing Ember Spirit to say that you can only hit targets with Slight of Fits that you see? You can't slight Invis units. No, no, like physically in see. Fo in fog, like you, like you can't see oh, yeah, fog yeah. units. Like, because when you're defending up uphill, let's say in your racks, Ember walks up, Slight of Fits, and your whole team is dead. I don't think that's me that's. I fair. think if you can do that, the game's over, though. Anyway, uh, it's arguable, I guess. I see what Lumi's saying. It's it's a little bit broken that you Radiant's can have that kind of range and not even attack. have to see. Yeah. What about Conquer Cleave? Well, Conquer Cleave yeah, is only 550. It, you don't randomly Conquer Cleave target. Conquer is 550, but I think Slide of Fist can be upwards of like a thousand range. Yeah, yeah. It's also you can, the circle can move further away from you than it actually casts. If you know what I mean. Radiance yeah, yeah. top tower I mean, it's, it's has just been ridiculous. denied how far that thing actually goes. Mm. So yeah, really nice team fight from Dog. The top tower unfortunately gets denied, so they're not gonna get the gold from that, but I think they're more than happy with the way that fight actually kind of rolled out. And MSS is either going Maelstrom or he's going Deso. Kind of leaning towards Deso. Yeah, I think Deso's game plan here. And Misery is just, he's the money maker, man. He's the crystal maiden with the most. Get him what is he getting? I would honestly get a four staff if I was him.
Yeah, against Ursa or or Ghost Well, Victor? just in general. Do they have a mech yet? I think I having a mech. I don't think be... they do. I mean, you you have to fight through March Machine so much. I feel having yeah. a mech is helpful. He's gonna go for staff though. And you can never say no to a force. Either so. or, either would have been good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you could say mech is good for specific reasons. You could say force is good. The thing that she is actually ranking up her ultimate, and the mana cost is actually so huge that having a force have to boost her mana, mm -hmm. and obviously mech takes a bit of mana to use. So yeah, you know, force. Doesn't CM's aura give her like double, double the regen? Effect? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying her pull is not good enough. Like mm -hmm. if you look at her uh, freezing field right now, she actually barely has enough mana with attack. the force staff to use all her skills. Yeah. Yeah. Dyer's like, bottom tower is under attack. Like it has 50 mana left over if she yeah. uses all her skills. Yeah, CM has pretty spammable spells, so if you do survive, you can actually cast her stuff multiple times. Here comes a multiple TP on the bot lane. The glyph is gonna use and Zai should have. Not able to catch him. <laughs> but he has to go back to mid. Uh oh. Dyer's oh, he missed a chain, I think. Under attack. Yeah, he did. Allies, PPD's gonna look for the grip. Moonlight Shadow's gonna come. I think Zai's dead. He's dropped a sentry to give him sight. Where's the grip? He nightmares and trying to get himself out of the wise mystery, not taking a nightmare. Here comes a huge ultimate that gets blown up by the birds. And MSS is on the back line, now gets stunned. Misery really should have taken his sleep. Oh, Pycat's here. He wants to go for the kill on Zai. Starstorm only going to get one hit. Unfortunately, Fall comes in from the back to flank. But the damage he's taking from the birds and the soul summon is so high. MSS, though, he manages to pick off Zai. He's trying to get away from these freaking birds, man. They are dicks. Even has a lot of health, but it didn't look like it there. Yeah, he's got an Ogre Club, and actually, he's almost got an Ags. Yeah. When he gets an Ags, that ult is going to hurt so bad. Everyone in EG is relatively squishy, except for maybe Fear, I guess. I mean, I, f I foresee this one team fight where three people gets Ice Blast, and MSS walks in with one Slide of Fist chain combo, and they all die. Yeah. Dyer's top that tower is under attack. Could happen, man. Anything can happen if you believe. This is Dota, man. Except you proccing stuff. Yeah, that's true. I am like the worst RNG here. Oh, wow. Bird secure the tower bottom. Doesn't even get to deny. Dyer's top tower it's nearly impossible to deny against full damage birds, so. Because their attack animation is like pew. Super fast, yeah. yeah. You have to anticipate the damage, man. What did I say? 25 minute hex. Jeez. This hmm. guy knows what he's talking about. Like it sounds much more impressive when other people have stayed out about you then. No, 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 that's the point. I was supposed <laughs> to take away credibility. Oh, man. It's like self-deprecating humor, man. All right, that's, that's all we do here. Well, yeah, more or less. Well, we either shit on ourselves or each other. It works both ways, though. Or Dota players. Or Envy. Or Envy, yeah. yeah. Oh, I really like the choice that uh, Smuggling has made by getting a play mail. Because you're up against Ursa. Lol. Yep. You're up against the Tinker. Uh, Soul Assumptions and Tinker. Like, they're just so good. It's a late blade mail though, so I honestly feel like it's not as gonna be it's not gonna be as effective as he wants it to be, because Ursa's already more than halfway to BKB. And then you can blade mail all you want, he's still gonna just right. eat you alive. And then in that sense, if you get focus and you're actually taking the damage, you're gonna die before your blade mail does anything to the team. So Do you think he should have gone for something else then? I don't know what he what else he could have gotten. Maybe in a four stuff? Four stuff, yeah. I don't know. I mean there's there's a few things that maybe maybe he could just go hex too. Heck. Hex is never a bad item, right? Yeah. I think Ethereal Blade's pretty good on Centaur as well. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Strength Ethereal Blade into double edge? Strength Holy. gain, man. Yeah. That damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. Especially against Ursul, and you just can't do anything. You blade one of your teammates? Exactly. Since he's got a BKB, you can't affect him. Might as well affect your team. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's always thinking, man. Actually, that's one of my favorite things to do against a Void. You just get an E-Blade on whoever, and if they chrono your team, you just... What about e just a, a Yule Dyer's Scepter? Well, well, I'm assuming the Void has a BKB. Yeah. Which, by the way, some people don't get BKBs on Void. I don't want to talk as, about as, it, as man. As Andy knows. I don't want to talk about that game. What happened? My Void said, and I quote, You never buy BKB on Void, never ever. Forever ever? He bought like a Mask of Madness against a team that had like nothing but initiators. I actually don't like Mask of Madness as an item. I think it's kind of like... I think it always so makes you suffer way more than you need to. Well, it's an opportunistic choice, right? Like saying under the proper circumstances, the Mask of Madness gives you more damage than any other item really does for the same cost, which I get. And, and my seal's kind of nice too. But yeah, it can backfire. There's no doubt about that. So, speaking of things that could potentially backfire, Dog are doing Roshan, and they're doing it reasonably fast. They have a death so. It's not like terribly slow or anything like that. RTZ doesn't really have any mana at the moment. He's so fucking scary with the Hex, like... Yeah. The Blink Hex Tinker, this is when it starts to become panic mode. And the thing is, he actually levels Rearm to level 3. Some players who play Tinker actually decide not to mm -hmm. for quite a while because you just don't have the mana to sustain it, really. But he's very good at being efficient with his spell usage, so yep. he just manages to make it work. I think right now it's so sort of manageable. It's when he gets to Dagon, that's just like, God, help me. Like, buy a Bloodstone. Well, it's only like 100 if he maxes it out. Isn't it like 100 mana for Dagon 5? 
Yes, like or that. 80. It's 100 yeah. or 80. It's really low, but yeah. at the start, it's like crazy high. Like 160. Oh, fog is dying to these birds. My God, Zion Micro, but not gonna get the kill. Fog was 100 or percent HP, and he just. Uh, and he nearly has eggs. And he has. They hit so hard. Yeah, it's crazy. They level two birds. I think these birds are single-handedly keeping them from Roshan, as well as the possibility of Tinker teeping onto that ledge and start dropping marches. Those birds can solo heroes, man. Yeah. They're the real deal. Do you think getting Battle Fury against the birds is not just bad? On Ember, like, just cleave them? I think Battle Fury is still, like, quite good, no matter what circumstances. Why, why don't we see more Battle Fury? For example, why doesn't MSS go Battle Fury? Um, I think it's because... The Deso is like more bang for your buck damage, I guess. If you're assuming that the Battle Fury is always going to cleave, then it would be the clear choice, just because, hey, I'm getting more damage. It's 65 damage, regen, and if I do a Slight of Fist on like five heroes, we're assuming we cleave, what, like around 150% more damage? Mm -hmm. Just if he hits like four times or something like that? So that's still really good, but it's not like as reliable as you would like it to be, I guess. I don't know. There was some post on it on Reddit, yeah, yeah, and the guy yeah. was like showing the math. And I he was looked like, at that and I was like, Jesus, come on, just give me a tick box. Yes. Apparently, no. the Battle Fury is like the single-handed best sleight of fist item that you can get, if even over cleaving. Daedalus. If right. You're oh, if you're cleaving. Up to three. Up until you get three. Right. Yeah. And then Daedalus becomes the best item. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna try to smoke up top and not gonna find anybody. I mean, he, uh, also, I haven't played Ember Spear much, so here's another Ember Spear question. How does that matchup uh, work against Nyx Assassin? Like, are you ever afraid to use your side of fist sure. against a carapace? It gets nope. stunned, and Ursa just comes and, and jump on you? You, you don't, don't get, get stunned. stunned. Yeah. You're invulnerable. It's like Omni. It's the same principle. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like pretty good, right? Pretty good ability. So let me, let me, let me get this straight. He's invulnerable, mm -hmm. he could jump, he could hit things he can't see, you know, in fog and stuff. And he doesn't get, and like, And apparently punished. he applies proc hits on every hit, but no, no, on, no. on stuff no, like no. Shadow Blade, no. he just hits for damage. No, he has a chance to proc on every hit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But there's an internal cooldown on stuff like Maelstrom and stuff, so, like, yeah, yeah, more yeah, often than not, you won't get, like, two Maelstroms in the same. Well, you are gonna get one Maelstrom, you well, know? Otherwise a Basher would be, like, the best. Not me. Just saying. <laughs> you're, you're not buying enough Maelstroms. I'm not That's RNGs Jesus, man. You could be. I could be. If I believed. So the game has kind of slowed down. I think it's safe to say, right? Mm -hmm. They've kind of drew a happy face on the map. The Radiant. Like the two eyes and a nose with the words. What? Mm -hmm. It's a triangle. How's it a happy face? Because there's the... The trees at the bottom. It's kind of sad, I guess. Yeah, that's not a happy face. Arrow. Gonna fly. They're gonna find our keys. He pops the ghost scepter, but he's not gonna be able to live through that damage. Only shit. My cat Star Storm gets the kill. Oh, fogged. Actually, a stun miss from Universe. He pops the carapace though. Fog stuns himself. He's got Aghanims. Finishes the Aghanims as he's being attacked. Is he gonna go for this kill? There's only 900 health in Universe. Not blinks away. If he has, hits the ice blast, it's auto kill. You think? I don't think from 100%. Maybe if he was 16. But I don't think he dies like straight away just from one ulti when it's only level 17 level. seconds. Yeah, but the, the frostbite damage is only 20. So what, it does like 180 damage yeah. on top of the 350? Yeah, definitely not enough. Some, something we're seeing a lot lately Radiant's is like support attack. heroes that need Aghanims. Like we're seeing a lot of AA and a lot of Visage. Like really greedy support heroes. Like is there a way, should you punish that? How much damage does it do? Well, what does it last for, 18 seconds? No, 17. 17 seconds. So, yeah. Roshan has 18. fallen to the dark. Math table, guys? No, not 17 times 18, it would be 17 times 20, because it's level 2. But I thought you said 18 earlier, because of the um, 25 magic reduction. That's not even 18. No, no, no. 17.5. No, 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 I wasn't talking about that. Alright, you're confusing me now, because that's okay, not what, what I was talking about. What are you talking about? about? I, was, you know, I don't listen. I was trying to see how much damage it would have done to Universe right. if it was going to kill him. Right? Uh. And it, level 2 Frostbite from the Ice Blast ticks for 20 damage, and it lasts for 17 seconds. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so it does three hundred. It does three hundred and forty <laughs> frostbite damage, right? On top of the three hundred and fifty damage that it does. So it does almost seven hundred, which wouldn't have killed him. Hey, we need to do like seventy more. Which, to put it in perspective, when you're doing seven hundred AOE damage, that's fucking scary. Yeah, it's yeah. a lion finger. Yeah, anyway. And they can't regen. Yeah. Universe with a haste rune and a force staff and a blink and a gem. Looking to do some work. By the way, Misery has a gem as well. 
on two giggles. <laughs> and I had a Midas, man. Like, she, she's almost level 16. I'm curious. Is she, like, one of the higher level? Is yeah, she is. Attack. At least in the midway. She's ahead of all the other supports. Yep. I think it's kind of favoring. And this game hasn't been incredibly passive, but it's still passive enough to the point where Midas can pay off. Yeah. And I think the investment that he made in Midas is starting to get to a point where it's like, okay, this is... I think it's choice. already paid off. Yeah. Like, no, it has, yeah. for sure. It was like 20 minutes at the start of the game. It was crazy. Oh, no, they want RTZ. They want him so bad, but PBD's is coming attack. in from the side, perhaps. They need MSS to go for it. He's dead. Nah. Oh, they didn't get the double okay. star storm. MSS has to turn around just to make sure that he gets the kill. Like, guys? <laughs> I mean, that's fine, right? Like, they, they keep targeting on RTZ, and, and oh. here comes Universe. Hmm. They don't have to gem here with Radiance them. Top Tower is under uh, attack. She's coming in with it now. Oh, she's she uh, ain't afraid of anything. Holy oh, shit. She needs to be careful. She could very easily die. Yeah, first that. Just force forward Nova here against PPD, and Pale is gonna miss. You just want to dodge. Oh, here comes the big back there. He's got BKB. Time to get out. Misery just straight up TP. No problem. Okay. And here comes the Tinker Chase. Are they going to chase anything? I need two. Ah, just a double click, you know. The panic. Actually, that would be more than a double click, right? That would be like two accidental clicks. They're all going to get away. Wow. Man, that he bought back for that, too. Like, RTZ bought back. Man, that hurts. There's so much fire, though. Like yeah, well, he would have more if he didn't have two diebacks. Well, Wait, this one's one. not a dieback. Where did that ult just go? I didn't see where it went. I like to keep track of A ults, but I just missed that one. I don't what, know, one of your hobbies? No, it's just fun to watch. Just be like, yeah, I did this much damage to this guy. Go to base. Or sit in the base for 17 more seconds because you can't heal. Yeah, the respawn A ult are the best. That's so frustrating. And it's going to be the Hex, by the way, on Fear coming out relatively soon. He needs about 2,000 gold, which shouldn't take too much longer for a couple minutes, maybe. I mean, they already had a Blink Hex in the Tinker for such a long time. Yeah. Um, but it seems like EG hasn't been really looking to fight, right? They just Yeah, like, but he's like, not a BKB initiation hero. Like, if Arteezy initiates and he doesn't get, like... Well, let's be honest. If he initiates, he's gonna die. Yeah. Right, okay. So you're saying they're not fighting because they, they don't have a, a proper form initiation that could actually get out alive. Right. Also, they said oh. the oh, stomp. Fear blinks in. They can use a stampede. Fear can't really hit anybody right now. Zion and PBD both caught by the fire chains. MSS almost immediately dies. Gonna be forced to use his fire remnants. Killing spree in the meantime. Side drops to Pycat. Yeah, Aegis is gonna be popping him up here in just a second. Fight continues, Smogalik chasing on fear as far as he can. Grip from the high ground on Smogalik. Arteezy just throwing in the artillery from across the river. Blinks in forward. Fear so low, but he will be able to make it out of the team fight. Pycat gonna get hexed. Arteezy, he wants out. He doesn't have much mana left, but it looks like he will be able to Arrow escape with his life for the time being. Radiance middle Man, what a weird fight. Attack. Yeah, I mean, the age is paying off for MSS as Radiant Team Dog. They win that fight back towards the tail. Glyph comes out. Not sure where, Well, actually, if they get to deny with the birds, I, I guess that's... Yeah, they will. Yeah, so the same beforehand. Do you think Centaur counters Hex in the way that you Hex someone and Centaur ulties and then they, and they run, run at maximum movement speed? I think Centaur is, like, actually very good in situations like this. Yeah. That's one thing that, that's kind of weird though. If you have Center ulti on Dyer's and the Nyx care paces and you run into the Nyx, is it, it stuns you, right? Yes. If someone else runs into the Nyx. Because right. it actually does damage and then... But it stuns the hero who has the Stampede on it, not the Centaur. Right. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because the hero does damage based on that particular hero's strength. Right, okay. Just wonder. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how many, like... Tiny receipts. weird variables yeah. there are in the game, and you're just like, huh, I wonder how that interacts. Like, honestly, I don't think anyone knows everything about the game. Like, there's, there's Bruno always... does. Yeah, no, Bruno he does. I play with Bruno. Tower is under attack. <laughs> I play with Bruno, that's all <laughs> I have know, to say. You know, Bruno is like, uh -oh. he's a backseat player. He really is. I love Bruno, but you're a backseat player. I mean, we're actually backseat players too. We just do it in front of an audience. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Yeah, right? yeah, true. I'm gonna stand up on a stretch, because this game's not even... It's not even 40 minutes in, man up! No, 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 like... Man! You're not sitting I on toilet roll. like, a two-hour game. Alright? No, no, I cast a two-hour games before. You need to dedicate Ugh. a little bit more. No, I'll yes. just cast over there, I'm like... I'm I can get the big screen. Bruno's subbing in. Hey, buddy. In. This chair is so cool. I mean, he's testing the next game or what? Uh, no, I'm subbing in for Lumi now that he's taking a break. No, no, I'm standing up because I need no, a stretch. No, 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 you're, you're out, like sir. My boss, you know, you can't you're shut out. me out. See ya. See you later, alligator. Okay. So... Okay, you got an ultimate orb on Crystal Maiden. Yeah, that's going to be a hex. Yeah, 
accidentally. Yeah. They could actually get a Lincolns for MSS. Uh, yeah, that'd be yeah. pretty legit. That, that wouldn't be too bad. Could have hurt. But then there's like the mana burn, which is like an instant cast. Yeah, but the thing is, if you use it at the right time, an MSS can just go in. It's not necessarily for blocking the spell that hurts you the most. It's giving you the opportunity to react to that spell before it comes, right? Yeah. So unless they mana burn and like grip instantly, then it's not going to work because MSS can select a fist, he can go to a remnant, he can do whatever. So, oh, Zai, he's going to slap easy. Oh, Zai is nice going to slap easy. Zai is smuggling is just insane. And the dead <laughs> <wins. laughs> <laughs> That return. You, you should never hit a centaur. No. The bird just committed Sudoku over there <laughs> by just hitting a centaur. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, Zai, on field. Close. Do you think, however, that Dog is in control of this game? For the time being, yeah. I think they have the momentum. Have you looked at the gold graph? It's still in favor of EG. Yeah, but the experience is like super yeah, far in favor Yeah, but fair well. buyback once, and then uh, Tinker bought, bought back, back twice. Yeah. So. And RTZ diebacked, which is like a Radiant lot of money. Does that show on the gold graph? No. no. It's still like, you don't lose gold for buyback. Actually, in RTZ's buybacks alone, it's more than 2,500. Because he lost reliable gold both of his deaths. And he spent money to buy back. No, so you, you didn't lose. You don't lose reliable or, yeah, gold. Yeah, you lost the unreliable gold. Right. That's what I meant. And then he bought back with his reliable yeah. gold. I'm Dyer's so afraid pressing these buttons because when I was sitting beside James on the first day, he actually paused the game while trying yeah, to. Yeah, he pulled the final. It was pretty. Just, and I'm like, just I don't, don't hit. F9 is just nowhere near. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is all the other rolls. Yeah, the bro just casually hits F8, which is dangerously close to F9. <laughs> there's a, like, there's okay. a big gap between F8 and It's not big. You don't need to press F8 because it's fantasy points. Just 6 and 7, that's what you need to do. No, but that's the one that matters, the fantasy points. No, who the care? Look at that, Pike got 5 points. Yeah, baby. All right, man. Do you want to see back? No, I really like the standing and then chiming in every two seconds and yeah. saying, like... <laughs> Stuff that doesn't matter, so we should do a walking cast. <laughs> walking cast, we yeah. all just like, I, no, we just stay in front of this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good stuff. Mm. Or we could do like something that we agree on saying something each turn. So it's yeah, like yeah, first yeah. Draskill, then Shane, then me, then Lumi. Okay, you start, Draskill. Hi, no, no, you have to say something, oh, I have to say something like about the game, like something okay. useful. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so ah, man, something useful. You gotta put me on the You're spot. Right. Roshan's respawning pretty soon. The bird yeah. is going now. Yeah, yeah. And Fierce got his hex done, so now they have a blank hex initiator. Yo, Marana just got a hex. Wait until your turn, <laughs> man! Ivana taking turns! <laughs> I'm, I just, I I just think that's important, you know? That's important. Yo, the leap hex? This is the first time I've ever seen Marana go hex straight up. Dude, that really works. Oh, no, well, it doesn't work if she gets caught. Oh, Arteezy, yep. He's gonna catch he's him with the hex. Oh, he's he's, 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 he's pissed! <laughs> Four step away, too. Uh -huh. Universe is gonna die, that's a gem. Gem on Dex. That's, that's, Discover what lies that's what I was talking about, the stampede hex thing. It's so good. Well, now they got two gems. You One know that when try. Ember Spirit, you you pick him, it says, they call me Imba Spirit. Does it actually? It, it says, like, Ember with a very weird accent. It sounds like... There's a few characters that say kind of things like, Porge when you get first blood. And I'm pretty sure he says, I've got jizz on my chin. I got jizz on my chin. Yeah. Yeah. And when Omni Knight heals you, he says, catch up. Yep, he does. Catch up. Catch up. And then uh, Pagna says, I'll take a crack addict. No, no, that. What? Which is really weird this, that he says that because he sucks people for his ulti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not That's a mode though. But yeah, there, there are some some weird hero lines. I love it. And I actually didn't notice, but if the game's paused and you like right click on yourself, loads, you get the rarest lines of your hero. You right click on yourself? Or, or, or right or le left, I'm not really sure, but you just oh, click that's on yourself. Oh, cool. Uh, Cyber Matt told me the other day, and like, you get the really long winded lines that you never have heard before. Like. All right, I want to take a vote real fast. Pose a question. Okay. If this game goes long, and again, it's going long. What are we talking, 79 minutes? <laughs> Not thing. that long yet, just like 60. Okay. Who has inevitability? Who has what? Inevitability? In yeah. Okay. Like, you who's going like to just win? I think the team with the Ember. Yeah, team with the Ember has, like, such an infinite scaling capability. Well, I mean... Well, the team with Ember is going to have two 60 hexes minutes as here. We're not talking about 185. What? You don't need 185 minutes to get the Okay. There's three hexes now. Yep. Four in the entire game. Dyer's Wait, no, it's, it's, two, it's two, two, two on both teams. Yeah, yeah, two on both teams. So there's four hexes total, two on dog, two on EG. Can they make something happen? Misery is like, no, nope, we shouldn't go there. Maybe They'll kill Roche crazy fast, but... They deward, they... Yeah. Yep. Let's go for it, man. Go for it. 
The because... other thing too to it that's important to note is that at some point, Ember's gonna do enough damage to slide a fist to one shot the Visage Birds, and his Daedalus is done pretty much. He's not he... even close to that. He, he's only taking like 25% of the health right no, now. No, if he crits, he'll almost kill it right now. Yeah, oh, especially really? if he gets okay. a Bottle yeah. Fury, which I guess he should. Oh, they're next. killing yep. the Birds. Yeah, I think with the Birds that you do Roshan now. Because well, you he could just resummon them. Okay, the new babies Never are Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, that ability is uh, usable more than once in the game. <laughs> Cheeky Fine. poker. Yeah, unlike, Adam. Unlike Warlock's upheaval that has like a million cooldown. They made it last for 16 seconds though, man. They buffed him. Yeah, how strong of a skill. So many skills let you stand still for freaking 16 the seconds. Top tower is under attack. No, like, he's pushing top. A lot of times you use upheaval, people just don't give you respect. They're like, they stand in it for a bit, hit you a bit, and then they're like, oh shit. Yeah, Louis, you did the level one roaming warlock with with upheaval, <laughs> and like it's just like <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. It was I walked. Isn't it seven percent at level one? No, no, but they, they tried to get the rune. They were waiting on the rune. Yeah, I just, uh, he's just there, he's just standing there upheavaling, <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, nothing's going. Why am I walking so slow? Oh my god, I'm panicking. Yeah, I just oh, here comes a blink and pale. Oh, here we go. Oh, he oh, panics. Oh, oh, like, he's gonna get gripped. He's all wet. Yeah, he's bye -bye. Yeah, yeah, super dead. Yeah. Unfortunate. Arteezy blinks forward, gets vision with the Shivas, but unfortunately can't find a hex target. Yeah, well, oh, four step back. Turn it. Oh, 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 threading the needle right there. And Fear says, it's time for me to go forward. But the, that thing gives vision to the little spirit. Ulti popped. Blue Light Shadow. Are they going to go on this? Sentry on the high ground. They won't be able to see anything that comes in. I mean, at least he's in. He got it! He got it! He's going to be respawning inside so of the good. pit. Arteezy on the high ground trying to keep everyone busy. Stampede used though. They want to go on Arteezy, but they simply can't focus him. Ice Blast is going to land attack. fear. Going to town on Smogly. He might be going down a second time. He's so low. The Shivas will finish him off. And the rest of Dog is just the heck out of there. That's the hey. hey. The steel. Beautiful. How did he even click on that? He actually dropped his TP in the... Uh, he did? Like, yeah, he dropped is that his TP? his TP? I think so, yeah. Dude, Misery, like, uh, he's like king of Midas steel. Er, uh, well, no, 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 no. Bambo is the well, king of Aegis No, steel. Bambo is the... No, no. <laughs> Bambo is the king of Bambo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fast question. Is that worth a dieback on your centaur for Aegis denial and steel? Dyer's but you lose a tier two top. I think EG is still okay with it. So Team Dog came out deficit. Yep. Okay. But I'm gonna say that if EG had taken the ages and not taken any casualties, they could have pushed high ground. Yeah, for sure. Misery, yeah. He's got a hex. Arteezy all of a sudden is like, nah, I'm not really feeling so good about this. Misery, <laughs> the second <laughs> hex. <laughs> Oh Dyer's my god. Do you have a 19 crystal Misery. I just want to say, when well, your CM4 staff into a hex fallen. to initiate a freezing field, game's going well. They lost their mid tier 2 for that though, and Arteezy has buyback, so... I just want to point out that... Lumi's just walking casting. around the studio. It's amazing. He's just yeah. like going from previous screen to previous Look, screen. Look, I don't need a computer cast. I'm just saying. Dude, you, you feel like, you know, you watched too much. No, of course you didn't because you don't watch too much. Like, too much show the director yeah, where he yeah, has yeah, like yeah. a million huge TVs. Was that Ed Harris, right? Yeah, Ed yeah, Harris. Ed yeah. Harris. And he's just like going from one to another, hands in his pockets, making very wise comments here he and there. He had the hat as well, like a beret or something. Yeah. We need to get you a beret. I could, I could like lose weight doing this, just like casting all day and walking back. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. You're overestimating the abilities of actually walking <laughs> five meters. I mean, that's better <laughs> than sitting <laughs> down, you know? I actually, th this chair is awesome. I finally get to sit on an <laughs> actual chair. What do you think of my chair, Bruno? It's not good. <laughs> no, it actually just pretty much... It's the... It hurts. Yeah, it's bad. It hurts. It's not good. It's probably the worst part of the DreamHack Studio. Okay, so part two of the the inevitability question, in terms of scaling, Ursa does he fall off? I think he does. Yeah. Radiance bottom Just because the fact that what is his attack. next item? Well, he can go hard, I guess. Or abyssal blade. Because Eitos. what? I just feel like speed, which is good for your ulti. It gives Radiance you a way to slow people down. He already has an attack. He wants to slow after <laughs> he kills someone with a hex. What? The Visage has AC, Medallion, and Agonims. And he's yeah, he's got some gear. He has 190 CA. I, I think CA. the best item that Ursa that? could get right now is Basher into Abyssal. It's like a real lockdown. 
I'm starting to kind of question the fact that Pycat got a hex. Look at this, look at yeah, What's bottom. going on bottom here? Little ninja tactic. Oh, oh God, easy. 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 No, he's got flick. He's, he's going to jump into the tree. for sight. Oh, he missed the wait. He needs to re the hex. No, the hex is there. PPD. He's going to oh. nightmare. He saves him for a little bit of the damage. But it's not going to matter. He's dead. Yeah, and they don't and he buys back. Are they going to turn it? There are Vistage Birds here. He's going to teleport back in. Oh, here with the BBD and SS. He just gets annihilated. That's a thousand gold going to fear. They're going to catch Fog too. Or Easy. He wants everyone. He's going to get the Hex on a Pike that also brings him down. Universe with the Mana Burn gets Fogged. Gem on deck. Okay. Holy, that Somebody turnaround. click on the CM right now and does he have four staff on cooldown? No, he no. does. Yeah, well, he didn't well, no, did, did she have it on cooldown it, when, he, when they were TPing out? I think he was dead either way. Like, even if he force staffed No, yeah, sure, that person was dead either way, but if you're spending more time to kill that person, your other teammates could run away. I don't know, man, because you're force staffing him into the rest of your teammates, so I don't really think it would have bought him any time. I think he initiated with force staff, like, he jumped into the... Yeah, I thought so, because they were trying to chase the Tinker yeah, down. Yeah. So, so I don't think he had it. But man. Yeah, suddenly a good team f uh, for... Yeah. So, so Maybe the question is, one. what changed in the last two team fights where EG won compared to the fights that Dyer's they lost before? Tower. Was it the BKB plus hex on Bursa that turned things around? Dyer's I think so, yeah. Well, it was the amount they chased the Tinker as well. They used the arrow and they used the uh, AOT on top. Is under attack. CMO. They're gonna find Arteezy. He's dead again. Yeah, he's dead for a long time because he has no buyback, so... But oh. bottom lane, they're gonna set there! Oh, okay. He's gonna find Arteezy! He's He's gonna find Arteezy! He's gonna find Arteezy! He's gonna find Arteezy! Holy fuck. I need to be in time. Tier 3 towers is gone. Oh, man. Yeah, the Raxes are in trouble right now. Two siege units right there. They're getting TP and Arteezy's coming back in on the backside. He wants that Rax. Ruffus, where are you watching? I can't count this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, the melee rex goes down to just the birds. Holy shenanigans, I can't believe he lived. That yeah. fucking ghost up there. You know, the funny thing is, if that Shivas didn't hit Smogalik, -like, he would have died anyway. Because yeah. the Blink would have came up and he would have gotten a hit. Man. I'm wow. so glad I picked that guy on my team. <laughs> yeah. How well is he doing? Do you see him quickly press the points? Yeah, six points. No, what? PPD's got ten. Holy PPD! Okay, Zai just picked up a five point nine from stuns. Oh yeah, that's right. Stuns give you so much points that Finn's grip uh, nightmare. Oh, we oh, see a lot of points. Holy what about like Magnus? Would that be ridiculous? You go to the other. Well, no, no, because Magnus only has one on cooldown every three minutes. Yeah, but it hits four or three, three minutes. Well, well, no, no, three no, no, minutes. No, like two. Okay. Isn't that like ninety seconds or something? Yeah, it scales down. I think it's like 190, 80 maybe. I was trying to make a hyperbole there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. A million hours, of course. A million. What was it, 10 years? Somebody said right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people will call that an exaggeration. Nah. Exaggeration. You have 2.4k on Christian. Does he go for the Necrobook or is it a pipe or something like that? I don't think it's a Necrobook game. It's a bit late, isn't it? AKB oh, yeah. isn't terrible. Just because you can ulti. <laughs> well, it's just the Earth, so really, isn't it? Well, no, it's not just the Earth's art. He's just destroying everyone. How cool would it be if you could pop BKB and Ghost Scepter? You can BKB and Inglade. You get, like, Ghost Scepter? At least you used to be able to do that. Wow, that's broken. Yeah, it was like three seconds of just being totally immune to the damage. You're the god. Yep. That's what people used to do on Husker. They would go BKB and Inglade. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. bird initiation. Yeah, the Stampede, Smogalik goes forward, he's got the Blade Mail on, he's doing quite a bit of damage to the rest of EG. MSS is going to get a nice slight fist and fire chains with fear, he gets hexed in the back. I don't know if focusing is really the best idea, Universe, he wants to go in, Falk, he's under the guise of Moonlight Shadow, he will live for the time being, leap forward from Pycat, maybe not the best idea. And oh man, it's just all going downhill right now for Team Dog. double buyback on the side of EG as well, MSS, he's going to get hexed, he's going to get Soul Assumption, he's going to get right clicked. He buys back. Yeah, he buys oh, back. He's got the spirit there still. He wants to come back in, but he's taking so much damage. Universe, he doesn't want to give up. Five seconds left of the spirit. Oh, the dieback. Diebacks. There's so many dieback this game. I gotta say, quick question. When a Marana and a Visage right-click each other, who wins? The Visage? The Visage, the visage was so assumption, and a Desolator just wrecked the Marana. Yeah, Pycat doesn't do any damage. Yeah. I mean, when you're... Oh. Nice last. Nice last to nowhere. Yeah. Uh, I really like the fact that um, Universe when the... Oh, uh, PyCat. 
Pie cat, he gets hexed. Stampede trying to get him farther away. Another Shiva's, another hex. Is he actually going to be able to make it away in time? Arteezy just does not want to give up. He's going to get frozen. He's going to drop basically inside of the well, but not before taking Pie cat with him. Smogalik, he throws with a double edge on the universe. Now he's panicking. He's a pink. It's not going to end well. Universe dodges the ult with his four staff and throws an impale to secure a kill. Fear going to get stuck in place with the cold feet, and I think this is the beginning of the end here for Team Dog. PPD though, oh, oh, oh. Misery, four staff, mana burn to 700 damage. <laughs> Casual mana burns, the middle racks fall, and Team Dog, they call the GG. GG. Who got the last kill? Universe. I said, didn't I say Universe? I think you did actually, yeah. No, I kept prompting you to say Art. Didn't I say Universe? Artesian. I think he was screaming at you to pit. Artesian, Artesian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Did I? I know, we can just say you did for the purpose of this. Yeah, we'll, we'll say I did. That was what a good game, game. though. Woof. What yeah, a, game. a good game. game. Really fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, Decent. lots of fantasy points. Lots, lots of fantasy points. Not for me.